Oh, the Creighton's office was still... Oh, 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 I've been solving worse than the Creighton case, in, in, which I dare say has been solved with clever and talented slugging. That's what you Can you just focus? Here to make it? It's very important. What, what is the nature of your business? I need this analyzed ASAP. Well, what am I looking for? I need to know if the recording's real. What information is contained within? It's proof Claudia was responsible for Michael's shooting. Sam, help me find the guy who ripped a bomb in Jerry's car. Wouldn't well, that nearly annihilated both you and the Yeah, I'm being sprayed with NFDC. He actually recorded the call and called you gave the order. How did you get that? Sam? But now I'm counting on you, okay? I need to know that this recording is not the doctor or dummy. I put Claudia's voice on there also so you can compare the two. How did you get a recording? No, never, never mind. Oh, Miss Claudia Z, look, I, I need a job done right away. There's a late model sedan and it's heading towards the garage on 10th Street right now as we speak, so you don't have a lot of time. The license plate number is ATJ39K0. I need you to wire it to explode and make sure the driver does not survive. <sighs> Forgive me for asking, but doesn't this merely prove that Vix Mellet attempted to kill the demented? Yeah, hey, Jerry is the only one that ties Claudia to Michael's shooting. She tried to kill him to shut him up. Um, I've downloaded the accusatory recording onto the desktop and I'm running Vixnella's vocal sample through a variety of programs to assess its authenticity. So you're, you're trying to match the samples? Precisely. Soon the computer will ascertain whether Vixnella was actually speaking or she was framed. I must admit, I kind of hope it's the latter. You're hoping that Claudia's innocent? Yeah, well, she's always been kind to me. And on more than one occasion, she's interceded on my behalf with Mr. Sir. Yeah, only if there's something in it for her. Well, th that assessment does not, does not explain other anomalies. Remember when you and I were afflicted with Asian ague? She tended to us most graciously. She was stuck with us. She didn't have a choice. With other motives aside, I was grateful. Dare I say it? I must admit to having amicable feelings towards her. Spinelli, Claudia was working you the same way she's working Michael right now. Claudia is responsible for Michael's shooting. The only way that she can protect herself is getting pregnant by Sonny. I have to play a devil's advocate. Isn't it possible she just got pregnant by accident? Are you, are you kidding me with this today? The timing is too convenient. She knows that if she's carrying Sonny's kid, he's not going to hurt her. I'm not going to hurt her. Now she's taking another step with Michael. He's awake. She's sucking up to him, acting like she's his best friend, and he's buying it. I fail to see why it's wrong for the newly anointed Mrs. Sir to, to shower kindness upon Michael. It, on the contrary, it would appear their warm mutual feelings are beneficent. Claudia got Michael shot. Okay. The, the shooting was accidental. And Mr. Sir was the intended target. So perhaps if if Vixenella was involved, she's feeling genuine remorse for wounding his offspring. Or she's happy with her new yeah, stepmother's you status. Just don't understand the kind of woman Claudia is and what she is capable of. The voice prints match. It's indeed necessary on the tape issuing instructions to place an incendiary device on the domestic one's car. Wait. What are you, you going to do with this damning evidence? I'm going to take it to Sonny. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. Can you please just reflect on possible courses of action? Sonny needs to know what Claudia's done to Michael. Yeah, I'm just proposing that you just put yourself in Mr. Sir's place for a moment. I know flights of imagination are not your forte, but, but just Sonny wants the proof, Spinelli. They are on the brink of parental joy. Doesn't that child deserve a possible stable family situation? And Vixen Allen may turn out to be a wonderful mother. I know that you mean well, but she doesn't deserve your sympathy. What possible outcome do you foresee? You think Mr. Sir is ever going to forgive his spouse? What are you doing? I didn't know you were coming back. Yeah, I got something I want to go over with you. Good. Because I need to talk to you. I just got. I just came back from seeing Michael. How's he doing? He's, he's all right. Um, he wants to come live with me and, and Claudia. So what about Carly? Michael knows he's taking out his frustration and anger on Carly. Right. Okay. And he doesn't want to live with Carly and Jax at this point. Well, Carly's going to be upset about, about it, right? She's not, she's not happy about it, but we'll, we'll, I don't know what to do at this point. This is what Michael wants. Does she agree? Yeah, but can you at least, you know, you know how to talk to her. <sighs> Let her know it's not her fault and the whole thing. Yeah. I, you know, the other thing I came to, to talk to you about, I'm not quite I sure. I went by the wine store and I got some champagne. What did you do? Jason, did Sonny tell you the good news? That Michael's coming to live with us? I didn't. 
I think it's going to be great. I'm going to fix Michael's room all up, and I'm going to get him a new laptop and transfer all of his old video games and get him all the latest stuff, put it on there for him. Michael should be with his mother. Jason, okay, here's the deal. You know better than I do that there's a gap between expectation and reality. Carly wants the old Michael back. The more she tries, he's going to pull away. And it's not forever, Jason. It just seems to be what Michael needs right now. What do you got there?